Just the good old boys And we'll mean it no harm What's going on everybody? This is Shane Thomas Ready to show you another country classic on the acoustic guitar This time, this video We're going to learn the theme from the Dukes of Hazard. Good old boys very, very popular song by Waylon Jennings. It was written by Waylon Jennings and spent number one for 17 weeks on the charts. So very, very, very big hit for Waylon. All right, and before we get going, before I show you how to play it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, if you want to learn the acoustic guitar and learn a bunch of country songs. I appreciate it. And if you have any requests, put them in the comments section below, and I'll be sure to make a video about it in the future. All right, so here we go. Now, if we're going to play along with the Waylon, the commercially released version that Waylon does, it's in the key of F. It's in the key of F. I'm going to use a capo for this tutorial. So if you got a capo, you might want to get it uh, because it's to a lot of people that especially just beginning uh, using the capo playing these chords I'm about to show is a lot easier than playing in the key of F. Now, if you play in the key of F, it's basically the chords are F, C, or excuse me, B minor, then C. But I know a lot of people have a hard time making these bar chords like that, like the B minor, like the C like that. Well, I guess you can play the C like that, but, but let's make it simple on you. If you got a capo, Go ahead and get it. If you don't have a capo, I'll put a link in the description below on how to get one. This very one. I love the Kaiser uh, capo. I've been using them for years. Just clip on anywhere you want on your guitar neck. And uh, and it, it makes playing a lot easier, a lot versatile. versatile. I play a whole bunch of different songs by using a capo. It's affiliate link. So if you get one through that, if you click on the link and purchase it through that link, uh, I get a little little commission that helps this channel out and supports this channel so i appreciate it all right so we put our capo on the first fret right there we're still going to play this according to our ears it's an f chord but we're going to use a d shape now here's a little if you want to get kind of technical it's pretty cool watch this so here's the f if you play an f bar chord it, just picture that right there keep that Picture in your mind right there how my fingers are doing. See how my my second, third, and fourth, what was it? Yeah. No, my <laughs> those fingers are making that shape right there. Well, if I put the capo on the first fret, it acts like my first finger. So remember how I was playing it like that? Now I'll just play it like this, and that's how we make an F, even though it's the E shape. So what you'll see up there in the chord diagram is an E shape, but actually the sound is an F. And just like I would make a B flat right here, if I put the capo on the first fret, I play the A shape. So if I played the B minor like that, or B flat, excuse me, without a capo, that's what it would look like. But since I got a capo, all I gotta do is put the ring finger on it. So that's kind of how a capo works. And so we're going to play the F chord, the B flat chord, and C chord, but the shapes are going to be E, A, and then C. So, well, the B flat shape, but it's actually going to be a C chord. So that's kind of how it works. So it's pretty cool how how that all works by the use of a capo. All right, so, strum it pattern. That's just a nice live up tempo kind of thing. You can go up, down, down, or down, up. It might be a little too fast. I like putting that little accent on it. Um, now, so to make the E shape chord, on, by using the capo on the first fret, you're going to put your first finger on the third string, first fret from the capo, put your middle finger on the fifth string, 
second fret from the capo and third finger on the fourth string second fret from the capo strum them up and that's your first chord now the a chord which is again to our ears actually making the sound of a b flat chord you basically put on the second third and fourth strings a finger or three different fingers I'll put one finger, it's easier to see. And play the fifth string on down. So the intro is basically E or F. Okay, so here we go, let's start singing. First, four, first verse. Just a good old boy, E. Never meaning no harm, A. Oh, you never saw even so right there is a new chord so basically what you could do is just bar this right there basically what I'm doing on the third fret and the fifth fret I'm pressing down majority of the uh, string so I'll press down on all strings on that third fret and then put your ring finger on the fifth fret and play the second, third, and fourth strings. And make sure you're playing that fifth string, second fret right there. So, so far we got. Just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. A or B flat. Beats all back to E. Beats all you ever saw even. Run along from the, right there, from the day they were born. Straighten the curves, yeah. Flatten the heels, hey. Some back to eat, someday the mountain might get them, but the law never will. Like, and that's your three chords, right, of that section. Basically, and again, I don't want to confuse anybody, we make the E shape, but it's actually an F chord. Then we go to the A shape, which is actually, since we're using a capo, the B flat chord, back to E, which is the actual sound of an F chord, to C. And that's a C bar chord right there. And again, the shape or the how you play that is first finger on the third fret, fifth string on down, so all five strings, and then press down on second, third, and fourth string on your, on the fifth fret. So that's the whole, that's all the chords that you need to know for the whole song. Now some people would play like a B7 instead of a B, but so however way you wanna do it. All right, so that's the first section. Now we're at the making their way part. Making the way, the only way to know how. So let's see. That's just a little bit more than the law will allow. So basically all that is is stay on the C that you've already learned. That's just a little bit more than the law will allow. Back to the E shape, but again, it's an F chord. All right, so that's how you play that section. Now, after that, there's a little guitar solo, and when it comes back, it comes back to where you just left off with making the way the only way they know how. Yeah, that's just a little bit more than the law will allow. Back to E or F. All right, I know it's, uh, hopefully I'm not confusing y'all, but I'll, I wanna kind of show you how you, you play different chords even though you use the same shape. It could be to our ears, different chords from the use of a capo. Uh, now, if you wanna play it without a capo, or if you don't have a capo, here's how you do it. F, and you play that bar chord just like that. Again, check out the diagram. Just some good old boys. So again, your first finger's on the first fret, 
Go ahead and put your middle finger on the third string, second fret, ring finger on the third fret, fifth string, and put your pinky on the fourth string, third fret. Play all six strings. Just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. That's B flat. B flat again is first string or first fret. All five strings. Press down with your first finger. Skip a fret on the third fret. You can press down on the second, third, and fourth string. It's almost just like you just learned how to play that C bar chord, but you just slide it down to the first and third fret. So it's a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. Beats all you ever saw. They've been rumbled with the trouble with the law. So here's the C chord. Which is the same as this. We're just going to play an open C this time. So you can have the versatility if you don't like playing bar chords that much. So the C chord, open C chord, is first fret, second string. With your first finger, skip a string. Put your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, and your ring finger on the fifth string, third fret. Strum down from the fifth string all down. So if we play it in without the use of a capo, it's just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. Beats all you ever saw. They've been troubled with the law since the day they were born. And just keep going, straighten the curves, F, flatten the hills, B flat. Someday the mountain might get them to see, but the law never will. To F, making the way. Now you go from F to C. The only way to know how, we will go back to this, which is a C too. That's just a little bit more than the law will allow. And again, the guitar solo, back to making the way, that section. And then at the very end, he does another verse. I'm a good old boy, F. You know my mama loves me, B flat. But she can't understand why they keep showing my hands, not my face on TV. So bottom line is, if you want to play along with the record that Waylon has, it's F, B flat, and C. If you're playing it without a capo, F, B flat, and C. If you're playing it with a capo, it's the same chords, but you're using different chord shapes. It's E, A, and the B shape. It's actually a C to our ears. So that's it. Hopefully that's not too confusing. I just want to give you some options just in case you didn't have a capo, just in case you aren't comfortable playing bar chords uh, like a lot of many people are. So hopefully this gives you some options. Bottom line is you, pay, you play the, the F chord however way you make it, the B flat chord, however way you make it, and the C chord, however way you make it. I think you'll be a lot, you'll play it a lot sooner, a lot quicker with less frustration if you use a capo and play the E, A, and the B shape. All right, so there you go. That's how to play the themes from Dukes of Hazard, Good Old Boys by Waylon Jennings. If y'all have any requests, put them in the comment section below. I'll go ahead and make a video as soon as I get them, put them in on the list so I can show y'all how to play these wonderful songs. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Until next time, keep humming and strumming. I'm Shane Thomas. Take care. Making the way, the only way to know how. That's just a little bit more than the law will allow.